Howdy y'all, I've been sewing again. So this is something that I've had for a long time. It came with one of my bed sets and it is a square European style pillowcase. And it's just a sham, you know, it's just split on the back. It's good size, big square pillow. And uh, although I've seen them online, I have never seen a European square pillow like this available to me where I shop and uh, I haven't ordered one or anything so I thought you know what I'm going to try to make a pillow to fit this pillow sham and I have two of them uh, but I haven't found the other one I've misplaced it somewhere but I've had them for years and never used them I used them as a drop cloth I think this one I was using as like a little dust cover over my sewing machine for a while and then I thought hey I'll try and make a pillow to fit this pillowcase. So this is what I came up with. Here is my European style pillow. So this was a piece of cloth. It was about, it was a little bit more than a yard that Voon had sent me. Thank you, Voon. Um, so I cut one piece about the size that I wanted the pillow, a little bit bigger. And then what was left were two long strips. So I sewed those together. You might can see where I sewed those two pieces together. And then cut another piece about that size and sewed it all up. And left an opening. Let's see, where is that opening? Here it is. I left an opening to stuff it. And then just sewed that up with some real pale lavender thread that I had that matched almost perfectly. So you can't really see the opening very well. And that worked good. And then now I'll show you what it looks like in the pillowcase. Okay, so here it is in the pillowcase. It is a really big pillow. And it fits just right. It has a little bit of space around the edge. So it doesn't keep the little ruffle sticking straight out, you know, but still it matches all my bedroom suits and my couch covers and everything. And I'm, I'm really glad I finally got a pillow to go in there and it does, it fits nicely and it looks good wherever I throw it. Cause it's the right color. <laughs> okay. So that's my European pillow that I made and I was going to real quickly while I had you here show you a few things that I got for sewing. First is this giant bag of polyfill. It's huge. I've been using out of it a little bit for that pillow, that big pillow I just showed you. It barely used any out of the top. So this is really packed down in there. And it came with this little neat thing. Um, it's like a chopstick and you use it for poking the stuffing down into little places. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I got a few colors of fabric for my neck bone pillows. So I got some uh, cheetah print and some kitty print. And these kind of super cool looking um, Dias de Muertos skulls. The Day of the Dead skulls. And then I just got a yard of black because I think black will look good with all of those colors. So I'm going to be working sewing on my sewing machine again today. We'll see what I'll come up with. I think I'm going to be working on those neck bone pillows. But yeah, so I just wanted to share with you this big, wonderful pillow that I made for my pillowcase that I've wanted to use for years. <laughs> oh, and of course, I have helper. He's helping me. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, you guys. Y'all be sweet.